hi dr saxena here and uh, i've been talking on some uh, interesting stuffs which uh, uh, sometimes which we are dealing on day to day basis but a uh, lot of things has to be worked out and uh, yes i happen to treat some of the cases which causes uh, uh, patient come to us because of the thing called tinnitus tinnitus what is this thing called tinnitus what the other treatments which have been done for that and let us because everyone knows what happens when you have a ringing in the ears and it constantly happens over a period of time it is not just uh, 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 it makes the people who suffer from it uh, they can un- they you can always it can be very it can be very maddening uh, see this is uh, one thing uh, they even when there is silence this there is in fact the people they suffer from no silence uh, there is always the buzzing uh, ringing humming or hissing or even that shrieking sound which always keeps happening inside the ears and um, uh, this um, there may be while it may be very quite outside your head inside there may be a constant noise so we are talking about something on this uh, tinnitus triggers what are the triggers which happen um, you know, what are the triggers which can give rise to tinnitus because i had worked with some cases which uh, most of the ent doctors they started talking about and we we all talk about such sudden sensory neural hearing loss and um, we have right now also we are doing this hyperbaric oxygen and otherwise treatments for them and the most important symptom what these people have got is that tinnitus so um, uh, there is something uh, most when we try to work on the things most of the doctors they believe there is nothing wrong in the um, hearing but uh, tinnitus can definitely interfere with hearing sleeping or everyday conversations also uh, and uh, unfortunately this becomes worse as you age um, so a lot of people suffer from this particular thing there is a quite big overlap between sensory neural deafness uh, hearing loss with the uh, tinnitus and um, we have seen uh, people having this degree of hearing loss ha- has um, they uh, they when they, they they have sometimes impacted ear wax they have some ear, uh, middle ear problems such as meniere's disease and all and um, they are some things which increases so i'm going to talk about what is the tinnitus triggers Uh, there is a thing called sinus infections or something like colds and all that the, the flu what we are uh, we now we understand what is this word flu uh, thanks to this pandemic but uh, everyone uh, started looking into what is the cold sinus upper respiratory infection what happens with this particular thing with this condition in the sinuses you build up a pressure in the eustachian tubes uh, which creates a pressure in the ear this causes that ringing buzzing or roaring sounds so most of the times whenever you have something like cold and all that in your sinuses nasal kind of stuff you may have something like tinnitus because of the pressure in the eustachian tube eustachian tube is connected by the nasal cavity to the ears by the things so this is the pressure changes which um, and sometimes it's like um, when you go into the airplane when you go for the ascent as well as the descent you get that um, it exacerbates this problem because of that uh, pressure changes within that particular thing uh, my favorite thing is the foods which can cause tinnitus flare ups this is why i created this segment because i was trying to uh, make the other person uh, we are uh, two patients right now taking treatment for the tinnitus so the things which can uh, uh, then cause the foods that can cause allergic reactions with the uh, uh, foods you are sensitive to or uh, the foods that increase the inflammation of bo- bo- incle- increase the inflammatory inflammatory foods therefore it just for the, it's for the whole body as well as for the ears so we try to put across a complete ban on the refined grains especially gluten and the dairy Uh, we try to ask the patients to follow this this uh, elimination of the dairy as well as uh, refined grains will help in decreasing the congestion in the head uh, so uh, so uh, so other things like alcohol tobacco they also impact they create that overall inflammation uh, in the body worsening the tinnitus 
sometimes it is this excess of sodium also can cause that blood pressure uh, that affects the blood pressure which then affects the tinnitus and um, oh and uh, for all practical purposes i believe the sweets and the sugar which raises the blood sugar can bring on tinnitus attacks uh, there was a study which showed 82 84 to 92% of people with tinnitus had hyperinsulinemia means that high levels of insulin in the in the blood uh, which is a result of response to the high blood sugar the higher your insulin levels the higher you have inflammatory status so the when the blood sugar rises insulin is released in the body uh, to move the sugar from blood stream into the cells and avoid the damage which occurs so this is one thing hyperinsulinemia sugars we're talking about refined um, uh, carbohydrates as well as milk and it has been seen that uh, one of the triggers for uh, uh, this particular thing is hypothyroid or subclinical hypothyroidism the people who has hypothyroid problems usually have low energy levels weight gain they have something like slow digestion they have constipation and tinnitus so this particular thing this people having this tinnitus they are sometimes they have i'm not very sure what is the percentage and all that but i believe most of them they have something like hypothyroidism uh, so uh, so that will this tinnitus will reduce or resolve once your underlying thyroid issue is addressed and people uh, usually females with uh, who are near their menopause uh, because of the hormonal fluctuation they in because of that rise and fall of hormone levels uh, uh, during uh, uh, this particular stuff they have this people who are they um, people with menopausal symptoms and they can always benefit from the uh, this tinnitus just by supplementing something like uh, thyroid hormone so needless to say i am just talking about some kind of triggers and i believe uh, this stress is one of the big reason for tinnitus tinnitus triggers so this is one thing which you always have to take into account and uh, another thing which will have which is the thing which we always try to talk about is the inflammation inflammation there is a connection between the brain inflammation and the tinnitus there were studies which showed uh, there was uh, in the plas biological journal they have shown uh, the con uh, connection to brain inflammation and tinnitus and uh, i always uh, talk about i try to carry one of the apps where i can always see what is the decibels of sound i'm getting so needless to say the hearing loss from loud noises is again connected with the tinnitus uh, it's again the sound uh, sound processing region of the brain that gets affected causing the tinnitus so uh, this is one thing which we are always talking about so these are of the few of the risk factors and all that and uh, if you can always work on this triggers and see that you even if you are having a big issue at hand and you are not able to get any any answers try to follow the simple techniques simple methods trying to avoid sugar trying to avoid milk trying to avoid uh, wheat and uh, refined grains trying to avoid uh, uh, this particular um, trying to see that your thyroid gets into normal zone apart from that see that you are uh, you don't get subjected to that heavy noises and all that that always this will help you combating your tinnitus in a proper way and uh, this is what uh, i thought i should share this particular stuff and uh, it's a simple thing if you can always work on this particular thing so apart from the definitive treatments whatever we are giving um, this helps a lot uh, thank you